Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. The initial gaming deal with the Seminoles didn't come easy. In the end, the tribe got 20 years exclusivity for slot machines, except in Miami-Dade and Broward counties. They also got blackjack and other bank card games for just five years. The card deal ends July 1st. Senator Bill Galvano negotiated the first deal. He says a renewal is in limbo. And we could really never get an answer in terms of what it is worth to the Seminole Tribe of Florida to maintain those banked card games for the balance of the compact for an additional 15 years. On Thursday, a House committee approved a gaming bill that will ask voters in Miami-Dade and Broward counties if they want resort casinos. Lawmakers would still have to act in the end. It just kind of tells Miami-Dade and Broward that if they'd like to do a referendum before we approve destination resorts and make their will known to the legislature, that we welcome it. So you sound confident they'll get approved? I am not confident on anything dealing with gaming. The destination casinos and slot machines for dog tracks in Palm Beach and Lee counties that are in the House bill are both potential violations of the compact with the tribe. Some say they're leverage. Lawmakers did shoot down the idea of dispensing lottery tickets at gas pumps. And should be renewed. The and while the Seminole, Seminole tribe is spending renewed, thousands running TV spots seeking a deal renewal, talks are virtually non-existent in what's shaping up as a game of chicken at the legislative session's end. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vassalinda.